Hello YouTubers. Um, when I was brushing my teeth today, it got me thinking about a story that I used to think of. This story I thought of is when I first broke up with Adam. I know what you're going to say, you know, you lot out there, you pickers. It's not another story about Adam, but it's my channel. I'll do what I like with it and you don't have to watch it. But it's a story. It didn't happen and it'll never happen. Um, but it always started the same way. Sorry. I always started the same way. One day, I'm just, I'm going somewhere. Just, um, doesn't really matter where. I don't know. Um, you know what? I will pick, um, somewhere I used to go a lot, Headway. I'm on my way to Headway. And uh, I mind my own business, MP3 player in my ear, mind my own business, da 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 Adam in my head as well, and I'm oblivious to everything. Forget about the beeps with the crossing of the roads and everything. And I get hit by a car. Unconscious. Because I'm oblivious. I'm in my own little world. So, being in my own little world, I get knocked over by a car. Unconscious. I have no idea what I'm... I come to... After what I, it feels like for me is like only five minutes, but I come to and my mum's on my bed. All right, hi mum, because I can remember her. She's like, you remember me then? I'm like, yeah. What happened? And my mum explains I got hit by a car. I have broken my basically the walking across the road cost me an arm and a leg. And a bit of my brain, but we don't know that yet. But it did cause me an arm and a leg. <laughs> I broke an arm and a leg as well as what you'll find out in a minute. And I look around. And I'm like, where am I? She says, you're in hospital because you got knocked down. I'm like, okay. Um, Mum signals somebody. And this woman comes in. I have no idea who it is. Oblivious. Completely oblivious to who it is. So this woman comes in. Hugs me and says, hi wifey. I'm like, wifey, why are you calling me wifey? She's like, what? Don't you know who I am? I'm like, no, I have no idea who you are. And I'm, that's why it goes to this time. Because back that time, I wouldn't even know who that woman was. But I'm doing it as if it was a now story in a hell. Makes me love a bit. And she's basically, she starts to cry. Because we mean so much to each other. And I don't even know who this woman is who's crying by my bedside. Holding my hand, crying. I'm like, who are you? Because I have no idea who you are. And she's like, I'm Jess. Your best friend. And I'm like, I don't know Jess. I definitely don't know Jess is my best friend. And she's like, what do you know? I'm like, what do you mean? What year is it? And I says, it's... 2009? No, 2011, sorry. 2011. Actually, wait a minute. I'm working this out now. 16 now. 15, 14, 13. I'm about 2011, 2012. Mind about that time. It's like, okay. What do you remember? I remember, actually no, wait a minute, I'm not going to Headway, scratch that, I'm on my way to Twist and Ducks, that's what it is, because this happens now, yeah this works out better, sorry, it works out better, 
but I'm traveling to Tristan Doug, so I get knocked over, and I think it's back. It's been, yeah, I get it now. So yeah, I wasn't on my way to Headway at all. I was on my way to Tristan Ducks. Then I get hit by the car. Then I'm in hospital. Makes sense now. Um, so it makes sense now. So, um, so, so okay. And I'm like, where's Adam? She's like, Adam? Yeah, Adam Wild, my boyfriend. I love him so much, you know. We're gonna get married and everything. And this is still in the beginning stages of the relationship my mind goes back to. And Jess is like, oh, she turns to my mum. And, and they both don't know what to say to me. I'm like, I wanna see Adam. I want to see Adam, I wanna see my boyfriend. I wanna see him now. I want to see him now. And I'm not going to say another word until I see Adam. I want him. He should be here by now. If he loves me, he would be here by now. And I'm, and I'm determined, because I can be determined sometimes, to get my own way. Especially after a hair trauma like I've had. Because what I did when I hit the when the car hit me, I hit the windscreen and hit back onto the floor. That's why I was, un, that's why I was con, concussed. Turned out I was concussed for... A month, or even three, I think it was three months I was concussed, so I missed three months of my life because of that car, and I know I'm gonna like. The injuries don't really matter, it's the head trauma that matters with the story. So, there's no way of contacting the wilds at all because Bernadette has unfriended my mum so there's no way to contact the whales at all or so we thought they go through my phone and they contact everyone that might know Adam like Darren and um, a couple of others like Alan just to get his number they say it's an emergency it's important they don't say what's happened, they just say they need Adam's number. They need to speak to Adam. They're hesitant. But they finally have to come clean about what's happened with me and, and how adamant I am that I'm adamant that I need to see Adam. Bearing in mind, he has changed quite a bit since we broke up. He's thinner, he's healthier, he basically... He's still Adam, but he's more cocky and childish than before. And like I say, it's early stages that I remember. So that means, um, I just remember the nice side of him while he's a gentleman and everything. Not the nasty side I'm going to meet. So anyway, they finally get in contact with Adam. By I get a number, or well, getting a couple of numbers of a couple of people because Adam kept changing his number. Um, at one point, it wasn't actually Adam they were talking to, it was Bernadette, because Bernadette took over Adam's number. And they explained everything to Bernadette first instead of Adam, to see if Adam should know about this. And Bernadette's hesitant, to say the least, because I'm supposed to be over him. But after Mama explains that I'm adamant that I want to see him, because I'm meant to be going out still, and where to progress? Should they come clean and tell me that I'm not actually seeing them anymore? And that it's 2016 and we've been set up for three years now? Or give me some happiness for a little bit longer? Okay. But the downside of that is make me go through the heartache twice. So they make a decision. Leave it up to Adam. And Adam, the evil side comes out. To begin with, he's like, nah, tell her. I don't like her. I hate her. I want to see her unhappy. Tell her. But then, because they were going to give it a day for him to think about it, the deadline closes the next day. So, you know, I've changed my mind. Where is she? And they explain I'm at Newcastle General Hospital, still under the observation because I'm awake mostly. And 
So yeah, I'm still on this today. I'm still up to observations only. Um, so I don't close down. It's like I'm on my way down. I want to see her. And to begin with, everyone says I don't do it. Really? It's like, yeah. If she really is the old Emily that used to go out with me, I want to see if it's true. That, she, that is the still same old Emily. And I just want to know. Really. So, he comes down. Can't make it that day, but he makes it the next day. And he comes down. And he sees me. Um, with a, the thingy in my hand that you get. And the drip. Because I have to be on the drip. Because I'm so big. I'm not on hospital food, I'm on the drip. That's what that's for the hand. Oh god, I was hungry. Um, but I have to be like this for at least two months. And then I can go home. So, I get a knock. I'm like, Mom, if that's you, I'll get dressed in a minute. It's like, It's not your mom. And I I don't believe it to begin with because it's been a week since I last wanted to see him. Since I last woke up. It's only been a week since I woke up. And I was determined to see Adam. I don't believe it. So I swore my eyes. Do a double take. And I actually do. Right. There is some resemblance to the Adam I used to know. All right. Are you Adam? And he's like, Yep. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> and I cry because I've been wanting to see him for so long. Because back in the early days, a week seemed like forever when we were separated. Um, because we saw each other, and at least once a week, or even two, or even more, if I decide to go to the church and he decides to go to the church. So yeah. A week feels felt like a long time and so yeah he comes and sits on my bed at the end and I yeah uh, I'm like don't sit right over there man give a kiss and he's hesitant and I'm like why are you hesitant we are going out we have been going out for three months now I was at five Oh, Blair's in a one after a while. And Adam's like, okay. Kisses me. For a weird millisecond, it doesn't feel the same. It feels like I'm kissing my brother or someone I used to know. It doesn't feel the same. The tingling sensation in my legs I used to get when I used to kiss him was gone. It didn't feel the same. All right. All right. You can set me straight here because I'm in. So I know what happened to my head and everything. That I got knocked down by a car and I've broken a leg and an arm. I didn't know I was in a coma for two months, three months if you want to be precise. But they're all secretive about our subject. What are you? Oh, the reason I wanted to see was you will be honest with me. You're you'll be honest, and yeah, because that's why I, I love, loved. My head's all confused about you. Now tell me the truth. What year is it, really? Please, I'm begging you. Please tell me what year it is. I want you to tell me the truth because I believe you. They won't tell me anything because they love me too much. You know, I have no idea who this Jeff person is. So Adam goes to talks to me and he tells me everything. That the year was 2016. I was not on my way to Headway. I was on my way to Tristan Ducks. I am now a Tristan Ducks member because Jess left to pursue her own drama career. Um, 
he was in love with Jess for the time being, but that is never more. I am still single after three years of us breaking up. Yeah, he told me that we had woken up. And I was so thrilled because I was like, so that must have been the secret they were hiding from me. Is that we are no longer together. I'm so thrilled. And then as soon as he gave me another kiss, everything came flooding back. Everything. The last three years came flooding back in like a flash. Bobby, Jess, uh, me hating him for all the videos he'd been putting up in fate on YouTube, him hating me for what I've been putting up on YouTube. Basically, just being dicks to each other. Everything came flooding back after that second kiss. That's it. Now I remember I'm on my birthday for now. And he's like, by a kiss. I'm like, I don't know why it was a kiss, but yeah. I remember everything now. He's like, so you remember everything? <sighs> yeah, I remember. I have to apologise to you right now. Right here and now I have to apologise. He's like, why? The shit I've been saying about you, I tell you. On YouTube, off YouTube. Oh, I do apologise. I was such a dick to you. Well, then. Well, you were more dick to me via YouTube. I was a dick to you via friends. So do It's like, that's fine, you know. We were dicks to each other, man. And I have a dick. I know, I've seen it. <laughs> and then, Bobby comes to my mind, I'm like, shit. And he's like, and I was like, what? I just remembered something. And I was like, what? I'm like, I fucked an 18 year old who's now 19. And he, but and I was like, who was it? Oh, just somebody I used to know. Who's not actually here right now, so he must have meant that much to him. Unless you scared him off. And by the way, what have you got against Darren? Is that because we've had relations and... Because that's all it was, was sex, you know. It wasn't anything special. So we just chat, basically. And Adam leaves because I was up. And that's how the story ends. Well, back then the story ends with us getting back together, but now it'll just be ending us parting ways again. Maybe as friends, maybe not. But back then the story would have ended with us getting back together, but that will never happen ever again now. So yeah, the reason I had something to do with my teeth was because I was thinking about what I could say to myself, a younger person, and it got me thinking about that flashback story. What would I say to my younger self was basically brush my teeth. And it gets better, but brush your teeth. Right, and this is getting to be 20 minutes, and that's more than I have ever had. More like it, more twice when I normally like to do. Um, I'm going to end with something. Because this is a story. It was a story. Complete story. Fabrication. A lie. Something that will never happen, because I'm always careful about crossing roads. Um... But I mentioned him a couple of times, so I'm going to end with a question for him. Darren, right? I've seen your latest videos, your two latest ones, about Darren. I'm like, for God's sake, Adam, I haven't seen Darren in like a month to two months. And you're only now saying you're going to beat him up? I'm like, if Darren actually saw that, he'll beat you up, man. He fucking hates you. Because whenever I bring like, you up when I'm with him, whenever I'm with him, that is, he hates you. I tried showing him a video that you did about him once and he wanted me to show it off. And since I wouldn't, he ended up having relations. Fucking. So just so I shut it off, basically, he hates you that much. 
He honestly does. He hates you. And I can see why you're a dick to him. And it all because we've had sex. That's just pure jealousy then. If you're this bad, that means you're jealous, basically. And I don't blame you. I'm jealous of Sarah. She's fucked you. Or anyone else that has fucked you. I'm jealous of them. Well, not jealous, but I'm good. Because you've moved on. I've moved on. But you have a girlfriend and I'm single. Still. After three years. <laughs> I need help. Anyway. I'm getting up now. So yeah. Laters YouTubers.